2015 Lean Start Higher Level Paper 1 Question 3 is a filling in a table, trapezoidal rule and integration. You're given f of x is equal to minus x squared plus 12x minus 27. And you're asked to complete the table below. You're given three values already, 0, 5 and 8 for 3, 4 and 7. So let's look at f of 5. It's going to be minus 5 squared plus 12 by 5 minus 27 so we're going to have a 60 a minus 27 and a minus 25 which is 60 minus 52 which is 8 we can see the mirror image of it here because it's a quadratic f of 6 is equal to minus 6 squared plus 12 by 6 minus 27 so we're going to have 72 minus 27 minus 36. 27, 36, 63. So this is going to give me a 9. And we'll just double check. 8 is going to give me a 5 and 9 is going to give me a 0 because it's a quadratic. They should. So f of 8, not f of x, f of 8 is equal to minus 8 squared plus 12 by 8 minus 27. So we're going to have 96 minus 27 minus 64 and uh, 27 and 64 are 91 so it does give me 5 and f of 9 will give me 0 f of 9 minus 9 squared plus 12 by 9 minus 27 is 108 12 nines minus 27 minus 81 which you can see is equal to 0 so that's the table filled in we're after the trapezoidal rule in part b Part B of this question, use table one and the trapezoidal rule to find the approximate area bounded by the graph of f and the x-axis. So the trapezoidal rule is h over two. I'll write it the way it's written in the tables first, but then we'll go into how it's written um, in simple form, y1 plus yn plus twice, y2, which is the second one, plus y3 plus y4 all the way to y n minus 1. Now, an easier way to remember this h over 2 the first one plus the last one plus twice the rest added together so h we know is the gap between the x values in this case it's 1 so we've 1 over 2 the first one and the last one are both zero in this case, here and here. And the rest added together, five and five is 10. Eight and eight is 16. 26 and nine is 35. So put that in. So it's zero plus zero plus twice 35. So that's half of 70, which is 35 square units. We're dealing with area here. In part 3, we're asked to find the integral of f of x dx between 9 and 3. It's basically what we were dealing with from the start, between 9 and 3. And f of x is minus x squared plus 12x minus 27. Minus x squared plus 12x minus 27. So it's just your basic integration. So we're integrating between 9 and 3 minus x squared plus 12x minus 27 dx so increase the power divide by the new power we're going to get minus x cubed over 3 plus 12 x squared over 2 which you're going to write 6 x squared minus 27 x between 9 and 3 so putting in 9 we're going to get minus 9 by 9 by 9 divided by 3 well that's 9 by 9 81 by 3 is 243 over 3 no, we've taken in the 3 plus 6x squared plus 681s 486 and minus 27 by 9 is also 243 so actually these are just going to give me 0 and then minus minus 3 cubed over 3 is just minus 3 squared which is minus 9 6 by 3 squared 6 9s are 54 and minus 27 by 3 is minus 81 so these all cancel and we're left with minus 
81 and 9 is 90, minus 90 plus 54 minus 36. So we end up with a plus 36 square units. And we got 35 for the previous part. The last part, use your answers to find a percentage error in the approximation. Well, 35 and 36. So the error was 1. It should have been 36. It's like a junior star question. Percentage error, 1 over 36 times 100. And we are asked correct to one decimal place in this question. We get 2.7 repeating, 2.77, so 2.8% correct to one decimal place.